Hi guys, it's July 2nd, um, 2016. You know, as usual, I've been struggling with some condemnation. Um, you know, I'm, I was thinking about things that happened, you know, 20 years ago. Um, mistakes that I made <clears throat> just living completely outside of the will of God. And just feeling condemned over things, you know, from my past and even things that I struggle with now. Um, it's really easy to find a, a, a person that's on, you know, YouTube or Facebook that's, you know, bashing everyone because they struggle. So I always seem to find those messages of condemnation from people that just take me down another notch and it's been a kind of a rough couple of days here and I just went to God and I finally just said I'm giving up and I can't I, I'm just struggling and this is the message he gave me so I hope this helps everyone Okay, it says, Daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. This is for your ears, and many will also receive what I share with you, my love. My children must receive my finished work on the cross completely before they can walk in my complete redemption. You, my daughter, struggle with who you are in me. You do not trust me with your salvation or my redemptive process in your life. My daughter, look back over your life and see the journey you have been on. Look at who you were before and look at who you are now in me. Are you perfect? By no means, for no man is perfect. But my daughter, you must recognize the changes that have taken place during these years since you received my salvation knowledge. Granted, there have been some times where you did not grow in me. Some times when you even went backwards and fell into some pretty terrible sin. But my daughter, my grace has never been removed from you. You always turned your face back to me. You always sincerely repented and asked for me to rescue you from eating from the trough with the pigs. You trusted me that I would deliver you out of the darkness that you had willingly walked right into. I've done that every time. Though I don't see you going down those paths again, if you were to, I would rescue you again. My daughter, no man's heart is perfect. All men can and will be tempted, and all men at times will fall. You must realize that you will stumble a bit and you will sin until the time that you are reconciled to me. You will not be perfect. You must also realize that whenever you allow the enemy to condemn you and make you doubt my finished work, this steals from our relationship and it quells the Holy Spirit within you. Every day is a new day, my daughter. Don't wake up and immediately focus on how you are letting me down. Instead, focus on how you can be my vessel. Focus on how you can share my love. Do not let the enemy's lies about you convince you that I cannot use you. He lies, and I can and will use, use you but only when you allow me to, and only when you are not walking under the black cloud of the enemy's condemnation. You have a choice. Listen to the enemy's lies about you or live out my truths. You are an effective witness for me, my love, but you've allowed the enemy to worm his way in and make you believe that you are no use to me. Do not forget, I thrive in weakness of men, and I will use whoever I choose to use. Never forget that. 
When you fail in your flesh, remember, your flesh was nailed to the cross. It does not own you anymore. Do not relive your failures of the past and do not fear failing in the future. Break free from what I have already freed you from. I am the key to living in victory. If you do not receive my finished work, if you do not see that, you are redeemed. You will always have one foot in the dark. This is not about the willpower of your flesh. This is about receiving my light and knowing that you're already clean. <laughs>